Same here, it may be interesting to consider if you're looking at these shoes for a full marathon, right? There's nothing like fresh bread, I'm telling you. This one is buckwheat and it smells amazing. And for breakfast, fresh bread, of course. <laughs> it's not exactly the butter my bread thing, but it's peanut butter my bread. Does that count, Seth? So I've just attached the uh, Runscribe pods to my uh, shoes, the Vaporfly Next Percent. I'm starting with them, doing some intervals today, and I'm gonna do some with the Vaporfly Next Percent 2 and some in the Adidas Adizero Adios Pro 2. Um, very excited about that. We'll gather all the metrics and we'll see what it says. Okay, so I'm done with the Vaporfly, now switching to the Adios. It's getting quite hot here. It's very early morning, but uh, yeah, it's getting quite hot. Alright guys, I'm done with the testing, both shoes tested, uh, and let's go back to the pain cave to share the thoughts. Welcome back in the pain cave guys, uh, my name is Alex, welcome back on the channel. If you're new here, uh, thanks for uh, stopping by. Uh, today's video is the comparison just before diving in. Don't forget there's still the link to the form if you want to submit your shoe rotation and if you want to see it here in the video in which I will uh, react to your shoe rotation. Do not hesitate, go fill in the, the form. It's still online for a few days, so uh, go there. Thanks to all of you who already submitted the form, who already sent the pictures. We'll have some, some amazing rotations to discuss. Second thing I wanted to mention, um, this shoe, the Next% 2, was sent to me by our EU partner, Top for Running. You can find the link uh, to the website right here, upper right hand corner. There's a discount code in the description, or maybe even here if I managed to, to put it there. Um, and it applies to anything. So even the brand new um, Vaporfly Next% 2 with the new colorway uh, can be discounted with the discount code. Um, that's for you, and uh, if you want to use it, go ahead. Um, that's great, and it helps the channel. All right, um, let's dive into the, the battle. It's a very exciting one. It's exciting for me because I'm actually um, wondering which one I'm gonna pick for my next um, races. And it may also be relevant for you if you clicked on, on the video, if you're watching this, um, maybe for your uh, you know, fall marathon or um, winter 10K, whatever the, the case may be. You may be wondering which one is right for you and uh, we're gonna go through the metrics, the words, um, the recommendations and, and the points of course and also uh, at the end I'm gonna share my, my choice about which one I'm gonna use um, most likely at least during my next races. All right, metrics. Um, so I tested the shoes at two, two different paces, five minutes per kilometer and 3.30 something quite easy for me and something close to my um, marathon, half marathon race pace, ideally. Efficiency, so we're looking at uh, the, the, the amount of energy that you're consuming in order to sustain a certain pace. The two shoes are close, um, but the faster you go, the more efficient the next percent becomes. So you're consuming less energy at higher paces with the next percent and at my race pace, the, uh, the gap between the two shoes is around uh, six to seven watts, which um, 
yeah, I mean, it's something. It's not a huge amount of, of uh, energy in, in, in the difference, but it's, it's something definitely to consider. Midsole and right of the two shoes. Um, first of all, stacks and drop. We're looking at 40, 32 on the um, Vaporfly, so eight millimeters drop and 39 and a half, 29 and a half, 10 millimeters drop on the Adios Pro 2. Weight, here's, it's actually one of the, the biggest difference between the two shoes in the, in the stats. Um, keep in mind that there's a, a half size difference between the two and that's because of the fit. We'll come back to that as well. This is a 10 and a half US, this is an 11 US. And by the way, if you're following me on Instagram, I was wrong in the, the post I, uh, I put online, uh, comparing the two shoes, I said both were US 11, I forgot this one was half a size down. So this is, this is relevant, especially for the weight, 218 grams, 244. So, you know, 26 gram difference. And if this one was a true to size, it would most likely be above 30, maybe 35 grams of difference, which, you know, uh, on the two shoes, 70 grams for a marathon, it's something to keep in mind. It's not a deal breaker, certainly not, but it's something to keep in mind. The geometry numbers, uh, this is what you, you all like, and I understand, I, I do like the geometry values as well. Uh, very interesting, the Lightstrike Pro, um, which is a blend most likely, EVA, TPU blend, um, is softer than the Zoomex, which is Piba, and very interesting, I didn't really notice on my Vaporfly Next% Percent V1, um, but it seems like there are two different layers of Zoomex, one softer at the top and one a bit uh, firmer uh, underneath. So um, I think we're looking at 30 on the geometry scale from zero to 100 for the Light Strike Pro, but you have the numbers on, on your screen right now. Um, something like 32, 34 for the uh, upper layer of ZoomX and in the 40s for the lower uh, layer of ZoomX, which is actually quite surprising. If you have a Vaporfly Next Percent V1 or V2 at home and you can check where you have that uh, in terms of feel, right? Not with, with a geometer, but in terms of a feel, if you have that same difference. Um, I'm very curious to hear in the comments if you also have that, that same uh, difference of, of, um, of geometer, of hardness, firmness of the, uh, of the firm between the, the upper layer and the, the lower layer. Uh, the difference being you know, the, the separation be being the carbon plate, actually. But, so this is supposed to be softer, but actually when you're running the Vaporfly Next Percent 2 feels a bit softer. Quite interesting. I think there's, there's a big thing here going around the rigidity of the plate and how it impacts the, uh, the ride and the feel. Um, but so, you know, the geometer numbers are very interesting, but they do not always correlate with the sensations when you're running. Platform dimensions, exactly the same forefoot and heel. The, the difference is in the midfoot where the Adios Pro is more narrow. That doesn't have a, a huge impact on the ride nor on the, on the fit, but um, good to keep in mind if this is something that's relevant for you. Responsiveness, um, there is a bit more responsiveness, so a lower ground contact time on the Adios Pro 2. And when you try to bend the shoe, it feels, both are very, very rigid, right? But this one feels even more snappy, even snappier. Um, and here you have a bit more flexion. You can see it when I'm doing this, there's a bit more flexion, not much, right? This is very, very, uh, you know, snappy, firm. Um, and, but here it's even even snappier, even, even firmer. Um, and so you have a bit more responsiveness in the numbers with the Adios Pro 2. Um, and bounciness, so we're looking at um, the time between max pronation to toe off. This is very similar and the next percent two feels bouncier, but both shoes are, are actually very, very bouncy. And the numbers are very similar for the two. Leg pounding, um, quite surprising, but the Adios Pro 2 feels less pounding, but has a higher uh, value for shock, which means it has a higher pounding effect on your legs. And I don't really have any explanation as to why this is. I thought, you know, this may be a bit less pounding, but that's the numbers and numbers do not lie, so uh, I'm just sharing them with you. A bit less pounding with the, with the Vaporfly Next Percent 2. Same here, it may be interesting to consider if you're looking at these shoes for a full marathon, right? Because leg pounding is obviously something you want to have in mind when choosing your um, race day shoe. So motion metrics, first foot strike type. I am striking, I am a four foot striker. Uh, if, you, uh, if you're new here on the channel, I am a four foot striker. 
and I have a very pronounced forefoot strike on the next percent and I'm leaning more towards the midfoot on the Adios Pro. Um, is that because of the more um, rocker geometry, which you don't really feel when, when running, but is it because of that? Is it because of the, the difference of drop? I don't really know, but this is just, you know, um, the, the metrics show that I have more forefoot strike with the next percent too. Um, then in terms of pronation, this is a big difference between the two shoes. I have way, way more pronation on the next percent too. Uh, and way less pronation on the, um, the Adios Pro 2. Again, for those of you who are new, I'm repeating this time and time uh, again, but um, pronation isn't bad, right? So um, having a higher amount of pronation isn't bad as such. It's, it's just something that you have to keep in mind. And pronation velocity can be um, correlated with injury risk. And same here, you have a much higher pronation velocity uh, on the next percent 2 compared to the Adios Pro. The reason for that, or at least one of them, is um, what some people out there call the lateral bias of the Adios Pro 2. Uh, you can go check the review of Doctors of Running, excellent one. Um, they, they have a, a very good, um, at least post on Instagram, I think. I don't know if there's a, a full review for that, but they explain how the lateral bias of the Adios Pro 2 plays a big role um, for the stability of the shoe and how it can be interesting for pronators to look at this one at the Adios Pro 2. Um, they don't compare it against the Vaporfly Next Person 2, but I'm saying it here. I think for pronators, um, and I will come back to that in the, in the recommendations, but the Adios Pro 2 is, is the way to go between the two. All right, one word to describe the two shoes. Uh, Next percent two is uh, bouncy, agile, um, and explosive or aggressive. Aggressive, explosive, aggressive, right? Um, this is bouncy, but less bouncy. So this is bouncier, this is just bouncy. Um, dense, this is dense. This is a dense feel underfoot. And reliable, does that make sense? Um, I just feel like on more fatigued legs, I would be better off with the Adios Pro 2, so reliable in that context, right? This is for the one word section. Before going to the points, if you're new here and you enjoy the content, please do not hesitate. Uh, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to hear every time I release a video. Um, yeah, I mean, this is a huge help for the channel, so thanks a lot for doing that. And if you're already subscribed, uh, huge thanks. And if you want to share the video with your running friends, that would also be um, highly appreciated and that will also help the channel. Thank you. All right, now the points. Um, so two shoes, just one point for the winner, zero for the second in the, in the category. Uh, upper, I'm going to go with the Adios. Um, I really like the Cellar Mesh 2.0. Nothing wrong with the, with the Vaporfly Next Person 2 upper, but between the two, I go for the, for the Adios. Um, I get a nice wrapping, a bit less so with the next percent, that's the reason why. Midsole, um, next percent, I mean, you know, the combo of the, their plate, the shape of the plate, I think plays a, a huge role here and the rigidity as well, and the Zoom X foam. So midsole point goes for the next percent. Then outsole, um, I'm gonna stick with the next percent as well, both for the durability and the grip. Um, same here, nothing wrong with the, it's not a drawback at all, the outsole on the Adios Pro 2, but um, yeah, I would go for the next percent here. Ride, um, very difficult, but I'm gonna go with the Adios. Yeah, ride goes for the Adios. Um, stability, Adios, no doubt. Uh, there's a lot of pronation on the, on the next percent. If you have very strong ankles, if, you, if you're not over pronating, if you have strong joints, strong calves, that's fantastic. You know, both shoes, you can, you can use them. If you're over pronating, if you have stability issues, Adios Pro 2. Laces, next percent. No doubt, uh, the laces of the next percent and the, um, the Alpha Fly, um, this is the, these are the same laces, are amazing. So uh, these are just fantastic laces. I love them. Fit, I'm gonna go with the Adios. I get a, a nice fit, a nice lockdown, and this is the next section, lockdown, Adios as well. So two points here for the, for the Adios, both for the fit and the lockdown. I, I mean, same here, nothing wrong with the next percent, but um, I get a very nice fit that's most likely due to, um, first of all, picking the right size, and this is half a size down for the Adios Pro 2, because um, with, with a true to size, I think it would have been um, 
way too long, uh, but I get a nice fit with a um, nice fit and nice lockdown in this heel with the Adidas Pro 2. Uh, just look at it if you if you're um, having any issues with your Achilles or, or that kind of stuff. This is a very this you know this is a heel that has a lot of give to it compared to this one, which is more rigid. I know for some people this is interesting, so uh, here you go, and uh, this one is is way um, more supple. Durability. Next percent, I have uh, my V1, which has 700K, I think, on it, and the outsole still works very fine. So, um, yeah, you, I mean, you lose the, the bounciness and, and all that stuff um, with time, but, but definitely uh, durability goes for the next percent. Price, adios. It's a bit, it's a bit less expensive, um, 220 to 25, and I think even some models are 250. And 220 so um, yeah still the, the this one is um, less expensive so the point goes here however if you're using the discount on our partners website top for running you get this one for um, a bit cheaper so maybe the point would be for this one I don't know I haven't made a calculation with the with a discount but uh, you can use it if you want it's in the description Recommendations, um, heel striker, I would go with the Adios. Um, you know, the heel bevel and the transition very smooth and very fast from heel to midfoot uh, toe off is better on the Adios. Midfoot striker, you could go with both. I would stick with the Adios for midfoot strikers. Forefoot, however, I would recommend the um, next person too. Heavy runners, I would go for the Adios. Light runners, you can go uh, for whatever you want. Stability, 100% adios. Um, or for short distances, maybe the next percent if you have a milled pronation. Um, but for a marathon, adios would be, I think, a better choice for uh, pronators. And now, which one would I pick? Um, if you're new here, remember I'm a duathlete and my A event, uh, so my biggest event this year in, in my duathlon season is the long distance uh, world championships in September. And uh, so it goes 10 kilometers running, 150 on the bike and 30 kilometers running um, to finish it off. So I'm considering one of these for the first bit of running for the, the 10K at the beginning, and then I can pick another shoe for a 30K. So I'm considering other shoes for a 30K and we'll come back to that. But uh, for the first bit of my A event, the World Championships, I'm considering uh, one of these. And to be honest, I don't know. So I think I'm gonna make some testing, uh, use, you know, make a choice for my tune-up race in August. If it happens, we'll see with the, with the coronavirus, but we'll see. Um, make a choice for this tune-up race, see how it works and then decide based on that and based on the testing I will do during my training um, which one I pick but this is really close for me and I may you know buy for safety or uh, you know confidence because I raced already quite a lot in the next percent one I may stick with the next percent uh, for regular running distances I think I would pick the Adios um, for um, 5k, 10k, and maybe the next percent for half marathon, marathon, and this despite the pronation thing. But um, same here, experience and the weight also plays a, a, a bit here, I think, in my assessment. Very hard to say. Uh, it may also be like, you know, uh, two days before the event, I train with both shoes and I just pick the one I'm the most in, in mood for. Very hard to say. Uh, anyways, I hope this was useful. Let me know in the comments which one you would pick for your event and what is your event. Um, I'm looking forward to chat with you in the comments about this battle. I think it was a good one. Uh, interesting one and important for uh, upcoming races for all of us. In the meantime, enjoy your run, enjoy your rides if you're going on the bike and go beyond your limits. This is the, the hashtag here on the channel. Go beyond your limits. Uh, take care as well. You, your family and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.